Well, here we go. I'm in the middle of doing this wheel bearing job on a 2002 Dodge Ram van 1500. And of course, the old bearing is seized on there. It's stuck. So I think I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Give it some love taps from the Harbor Freight gun. The air gun, the air hammer. See what we got here. I need to get this off so I can put the new one on. See what we can do here. I got the little guy. See what we got. Give it a couple of taps. I'm not going to touch the spindle with it. I'm just going to go right on, on this part here. This is part of the, the old bearing. Let's see what we got here. Oh, easy. No dice, huh? So it just moved, that's good. Let's see if we can get it with the channel locks. Well no. I did see it move though. Apparently the gun is too long. It's hard to get it in there. I just saw it move again. I guess it's back to heating. Maybe this torch just can't get it hot enough, but we'll give it another shot. Get out of the way so I don't get hit with the hot thing if it flies off. There we go. There it is. 
just so you can see I didn't damage it. There's some little scuffs there, but that's not for me. That's from, I don't know if that's called an inner race. You know, I don't know. It's part of the bearing itself. But uh, that did some damage there because the rotor was flopping. You know, I made the bad decision to drive home the three and a half miles after I realized the bearings failed. Well, I, di I didn't know it was the bearings. I knew something was going on. And I heard noises. The brake pads don't look too bad. They're actually new. They're rusted, but they're new. And the caliper don't look too bad either. But I found out these Craftsman hooks from Lowe's barely hook onto anything. I guess I'll have to tweak them, make the hook itself a little bigger. So yeah, I'm gonna put this together. Guess I gotta let it cool off, clean it up, put it back together. Hopefully I can use this tomorrow to go to work. Look at that leak in there. Oh dear. Looks like antifreeze coming out of the timing chain cover. So yeah, the oil pan is leaking too, so I might as well do both at the same time. Also, the exhaust needs to be replaced. And and the exhaust manifolds, because they're in rough shape. So I guess I gotta do everything at one time. I found the exhaust on eBay for uh it was five something, now it's six something, almost seven hundred dollars. Gonna have to see. I'm trying to keep this van running.